the class of 2020 has had to deal with many changes and challenges and cancellations as they get ready to take on a new journey. It's been weeks since students have been at their home campuses, but today at Motwood High School, that all changed. ABC7 photojournalist Daniel Fuentes filed this report on how the school is reminding its students that this is still a big celebration. The purpose of today is to go ahead and uh, allow our seniors, our class of 2020, an opportunity to go ahead and pick up their cap and gown. Congratulations. Bye-bye. We're not going to get a lot of opportunities to, to be with our students before graduation. The last thing I want is for them to feel that we don't miss them, we don't, uh, we don't, we don't appreciate uh, how important this graduation and, and this milestone it is, not only for them, but for also our community. <laughs> So we wanted to make sure that uh, we had the process that not only was it safe, but it was also accessible. So what we did, of course, is we have it very organized, a snake formation. Nobody's allowed to come out their car. They have to have face masks. The idea of having music, having some balloons, was making sure they know that this is still a celebration. The, this, the students have been working for 12 years to accomplish this and to move on to the next step. It's pretty good, honestly, that like, I'm kind of nervous because I finally got it done, all this. But as the principal of Mountwood High School, I couldn't be uh, prouder of them. I couldn't be more excited to get one more opportunity to get to see them and their families. I'm excited! It's awesome! It's awesome. Yay! So even if it's from far away, even if it's from their vehicles, right. glad to see them doing well and how proud we are of each one of them. The class of 2020 has definitely left their legacy on our Mountwood community in El Paso. So very proud of them and looking forward to uh, having a, a full graduation come July. Thank you guys! Stay safe and healthy, El Paso! Those masks likely hiding a lot of smiles. Motwood's graduation is July 25th at the Don Haskins Center at 9 a.m. It was sure nice to see that smile. It said everything. One of Islam's most important holidays began last week. For those celebrating worldwide, the holy month looks uh, very different this year. Ramadan is a time of prayer and family gatherings. So far, this pandemic has not stopped Muslims across El Paso from continuing their traditions virtually. And these events will be very unique, actually. Our, um, you know, we want it to gather, uh, you know, shoulder to shoulder. However, we will ask everyone to get their food on the table so that when the sun is set, we will ask people, okay, now it's time to eat. Let's eat together. Along with the shared mealtimes, lectures, prayers, and cultural appreciation activities are also shared. Families across the country will be tuning in to the virtual celebrations all month. Ramadan ends on May 23rd. Have you ever wanted to cook gourmet meals in the area in the era of social?